What's up guys, Steven here and welcome back to another video and today I'll show you how to install the Google Mobile Services and the Google Play Store on the Huawei MatePad Pro. This also works on the P40 Pro, on the P40 Lite and on all the Huawei devices on Android 9 and Android 10 so there are two different download links down below in the description and it's a very in-depth guide so it really worked straight out of the box on this tablet right over here. I also tried it several times on the P40 Pro and if you follow this guide correctly, you will have the Google Mobile Services and the Play Store on your device in roughly 30 minutes. Now this guide is a little bit different than my last guide, but there is just one different step. The rest is pretty much the same. You don't need any USB drive or OTG adapter for this. You can do everything with your computer, a USB cable and the files you will find down below in the description. Now I have to give some credits to the guy linked down below in the description because he found a way for the Google account manager to work straight out of the box. That's really cool. It's a little bit more complicated but you won't have any issues with signing in on your device. Alrighty guys, then now I would say let's go. All right guys, so we're now here on the computer on a MacBook Pro because some of you guys wanted to see how this works on a Mac. If you have a Windows PC and you want to see this part, then make sure you check out the video down below because there I actually explain the same thing we do right now on Windows. Now, first of all, you have to connect your tablet, your smartphone or whatever you want to install GMS with a USB cable directly to your computer. So while well, um, the tablet, as you can see right now, it is not running the Google Mobile Services. So we have also the latest update on the tablet. So as you can see right over here, EMUI 10.1.0.131. Alrighty guys, so the first step is really, really important. You need to download High Suite. Um, it should actually be in my application folder and I really apologize for my messy desktop. It looks horrible, but there we go, High Suite. So let's double click and let's open it up. And there we go. Now it says here, connect your Mac with a USB data cable. And yeah, you just have to replug your device quickly. And then you will get here a message box. So it should look like this, connect to device. Step one, go to the settings and enter HDB in the search. Now on your tablet or smartphone, you choose here transfer files. And yeah, I can close this. Then you go to the settings, you go all the way up to the search and you search for HDB. And there you go to allow High Suite to use HDB and make sure this is actually um, turned on. All right, so now it should say connecting to your device. This takes a little bit of time, so just wait for it. And now it will say High Suite needs to be installed on your mobile. Um, you just hit the install button and now it's installing a High Suite app here on your smartphone or on your tablet. So just wait until this finishes. All right, now you have to open up High Suite. You go here to next, you go to agree, you go to allow, you go to allow, allow, and then you will see a code on your screen. You just enter this code here into this box. It's 4414463311. Connect now, there we go. And after this connected, you will see, well, all your pictures right over here, but we don't want to see some ugly selfies. We go to backup and restore, and there you will find the restore tab. So sometimes High Suite on Mac is a little bit buggy, as you can see it keeps loading here, but this can take a little bit of time. Then you go to the Restore tab. And now you will actually see um, that the backup files are located in this folder. So it's in your download folder under backup record. So I'll quickly um, go to the download folder. And once you have downloaded my um, Tech Magnet P40 hack file, you actually choose the Huawei P40 Pro folder you copy that one and you paste it directly into backup records. So make sure Huawei P40 Pro is in your backup record. Then you should actually see it here in the list. Maybe you have to refresh. You go back to backup and you go back to restore, but or just close high suite and try again. But you should actually be able to see the backup. This is how it works on a MacBook. But if you want to see how it works on a Windows, make sure to check out the video down below. Alrighty guys, then now we go to restore. So now you have to enter um, the password, which you can see actually right over here. So it's tag magnet YouTube without E with a three at the end. You hit the OK button 
And now you get to another screen where it will actually um, restore everything. You can see the progress bar and it should restore exactly three apps. Now wait for it until it's completed and then check on your tablet that those things are here. So first of all, the LC Play Helper. So that um, G icon, which you can see on your screen right over here, that purple thing. The Aurora Store, which is an alternative to the Google Play Store. I have included it because it's actually really, really nice um, to get apps in there. Then also we have here Device ID. Um, I will actually include a different APK in this mod, but um, I will show you a bit later. All right, and the last step now is to copy all the apps we need to install to the internal storage. Now you will find this folder in the download. So in there you will find some subfolders, step one to step four. You just copy the whole folder and you copy it to the internal storage of your device. On Windows, it's super easy. You go to your PC, you open up your device and you um, just paste it in there. On the Mac, it's a little bit more tricky. So you need the tool which is called Android File Transfer. It looks like this. Basically, when you connect your device, you open up that tool, you go to Transfer Files, and then you're actually here in the internal storage of the device. And now you just Command V and you just, or yeah, just drag and drop it in there. And as you can see, it's now copying everything to the tablet. So there we go. And all right, we are done. Android 10, we have here the subfolders. Now we can disconnect the device and do all the rest on the tablet itself. Now guys, there we go. When you have done everything right, you should see those applications here on your screen. So either on your smartphone or on your tablet or whatever. The first thing you're gonna do is you open up the LC Play application. And as you can see, this is kind of huge. You go to activate this device administrator, we'll remove it later. You hit the allow button and you press the blue bar at the bottom. And make sure it starts to download something which is obviously not working. And then you just simply swipe it away. All right, so that was the first step. Now we have to, to install all the APKs we've copied to the internal storage. So you go to the file manager, you go to the internal storage, you open up the Android 10 folder and you go into the step one folder. So um, just start here at the top with the first one, the quick shortcut maker, and there we go. Then we go to the second one, there we go. So that are the Google Play services, as you can see. Then we're gonna choose the third one. So there we go. Now this one, there we go. Number four, the Google Play Store itself can take some time. There we go. Um, the library. There we go. And last but not least, the Google Contact Sync. And there we go. All right, the first six applications are now installed. Okay guys, so now we come to the tricky part and it's a little bit different. Now we have here the quick shortcut maker which we are using. So when you open it up, there will be a pop-up message. So just press the OK button. And now you go all the way down to Goo and there you will find Google Account Manager. So some people had issues with the Google Account Manager, but with this we are going to resolve it. You're gonna search for the first um, thing which says here type email and password because actually there are two as you can see. So there is um, your name, photo, capture, then email and password. So you're gonna choose the first one and you go to try. Make sure you're connected to the internet right now. So, well, um, don't type anything in here. Go to the three dots and go to browser sign in, okay? And now you see you have the latest login page there because it's browser based and now you just simply log in with your Google account. So I will quickly enter my password. If you have two step verification, make sure you accept it and then you will get could not sign in. But this is completely normal. So make sure you just swipe this away. Don't close it, okay? So just swipe it away and go back to the files. Here go to internal storage you go all the way down there again to step two. And now you're gonna install the Google Services Framework. So there we go, it's now installed. Now you just go back here to everything that's running in the background. You go back to that screen and you hit the next button. And as you can see, the sign-in was successful. So now we're gonna um, see if the sign-in was successful because we're gonna go to the settings. We go all the way down to Google 
and here's my account as you can see and users and accounts there is a Google account so everything until here awesome now you're gonna check if the Google Play Store is alive and just open it up and as you can see working fine so browse here a little bit make sure it's live and then search for device ID and there we go and make sure you download the purple app right over here because that's actually the one that is very easy to use and that always displays it correctly and there we go all right so now you're gonna open the device ID and check if you have a Google services framework ID which you can see right over here if you don't have this ID for any reason then um, something is wrong with your Play Store and it's not generating the ID then sometimes waiting helps so just wait a little bit browse the play store then um, just check back until you have the id and if really nothing works you're gonna reboot but this is in the worst case okay guys next step so now we make sure you won't get any notifications from the google play store so make sure you go to the settings you go um, to apps right over here you go to apps you search for goo for google and you find the google play services right over here you're gonna force stop the Google Play services. You're gonna uninstall them, okay? There we go, Google's Play services are gone. Now we're gonna go to files and we install the modded Google Play services, which you can find in step three. So there we go. Now we're gonna install that application. And there we go. All right, done. So now um, you can actually check Play Store working. Now you go back to this to um, settings and apps and you search for Goo again. But now we're gonna do something different. We're gonna search here for um, the Google services framework and you can do that by pressing the three buttons right over here and go to show system processes, very important. Here we have the Google services framework. You're gonna um, force stop it. You're gonna go to storage. You're gonna clear the data and you're gonna force stop it again or stop it again so as you can see this is a little bit buggy so really take some time wait in between for stop and there we go now you're gonna uninstall the Google Play serv uh, services framework and you go back to the files you go one step back to um, I think it's step number two yeah Google services framework you're gonna install it you're done Alrighty, after that is done, you're gonna open the Play Store and make sure it is working. As you can see from this point, actually notifications are gone. So I don't get anything right now, but we're not finished. But you need to make sure that the Play Store is alive right now. That is actually really, really important because the last step is we're gonna go back to the settings again, to apps. We're gonna search for Goo. We find here the Google Play services. You're gonna go to storage, you're gonna clear the cache, you're gonna force stop them, force stop them again, you're gonna uninstall the Google Play services, you go back to the files, you go to the last step actually, which is step number four, and you're gonna install the Google Play services, the last modded APK. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, there we go. So as you can see, Play Store working fine even after the last APK. That is really super awesome, really amazing. We can check device ID, we have a generated Google services framework ID. And yeah, that is looking really good. But now before you do anything, um, you probably have a lot of crap open right over here. So just simply reboot your tablet or your smartphone. So hold down the power button, go to restart and wait for it to reboot. Okay, guys, well, that's basically it. We have the Play Store on the smartphone. We are logged in. There are no notifications, as you can see. So this worked actually fine. That's absolutely amazing. But it only works. It really only works when you do this on a fresh installation. So on a fresh resetted device. Otherwise, there could be anything in the cache that's messing up everything. So please reset your device before you do that. Now uh, we need to uninstall this application because there is still a device administrator that we don't want to have. And to do that, we go to the settings here. We go to apps. We go to apps again. Here we're gonna scroll all the way down. Sorry guys. 
<laughs> we're gonna scroll all the way down to the Chinese app right over here and we hit the uninstall button. This will also deactivate the device administrator so that will be 100% gone, no worries about that. Just make sure it really fully uninstalls and there we go. Can take some time up to a minute. Um, hit the OK button and the app is gone. Well, um, in my um, update package there was this device ID which you can actually remove. Don't remove the Google Account Manager, really, really important. Um, I'll just show you something which you can do if you have a business account because there you will maybe get a sign in error. Um, also, you can remove the quick shortcut maker if you don't want to go back and add some accounts at any time. And you can also remove device ID. The Aurora store is actually a really nice store because it's basically an open source Google Play store where you can find a lot of applications. Actually, you don't need it right now because you have the Play Store, but just in case, I've installed it and I keep it in here. And yeah, it's actually pretty cool. And yeah, now I will just quickly show you um, a fix for the Google business accounts. So you're gonna search for on Google, I will leave your link down below as well for the Google account manager, Google account manager APK. And there you will find the latest Google account manager 7.1.2, which you can download. There you go. And after I've basically installed a new APK, um, I had no problems with any notifications for my, um, yeah, for my Google business account. So make sure you do that if you have any problems. Don't do it if you don't have any problems. And make sure you never install this application, otherwise you're gonna have problems. And as you can see, Play Store is working fine. There are some limitations because, for instance, the private space is not working. So let's try it here so you can actually see it. As you can see, it is actually broken. It does, it does basically nothing. So um, you cannot use the private space. You cannot clone applications. There are some restrictions with some applications that you don't get notifications. Um, some people say it works, some people say it doesn't work. For me, some apps do not put out notifications. You have to try it for yourself if you're okay with that. But well, um, basically, that's how you install Google on any Huawei device. Um, and I hope you liked it. You don't need any USB drive. And I really hope, guys, that this was helpful for you. Big thanks for watching. As always, I'm Steven from Tag Magnet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and peace.